Well, we're up here at the barn again today. Gonna keep going with the build where we left off. As you can see, we did get the wall up. We got it all stood up. We didn't even have any problems lifting it. It was a little heavy, but it wasn't a big deal. We got it up there. It's nailed in on these two girts and on the bottom as well as bolted down, nailed down all the way. And we braced the end to get it by for the last few days. <clears throat> so now I'm going to keep going with it. It's a little windy up here this morning, so I apologize if the wind's in the video. But I'm going to start with trying to build this wall, get it framed up and stood. Hopefully it won't be too heavy that I can pick it up by myself. If it seems like it is too heavy, I'll probably just go grab the tractor and I'll hoist it up with that. So. The upstairs room is where we're going to have our batteries and our solar system when we're going to move it out of the bathhouse and get it up into here once the barn's up. So we're going to have our battery banks up there. We're also going to have shelves and racks for jarred storage. So we're going to line the joists right over top of the studs and with the 2x6 studs on 16 inch centers. Floor joists are 2x10s on 16 inch centers. Should be overbuilt if anything. Just like the previous wall, I'm measuring these Hilti wedge bolts so that I can lay out the distance on the bottom plate of the wall and use my Forstner bits to drill a recess in that board so that the wall will sit down flush. several hundred feet away from our power system and so I've got my generator up here and I'm using that to charge my 60 gallon air compressor that I have mounted inside my trailer. I only have to run that generator a couple of times a day in order to keep that compressor full for a full day of nailing. The white portion of the face of that hillside is a type of sandstone or limestone that's really common in the area up here. It's really hard and really lightweight and it crushes down really easily, but it turns into blow sand when it does. I don't know if you can see that, but the wind's picked up a bit. See it blowing the sand. As soon as we can after building the barn and finishing the rest of the concrete that we want done around it, 
we'll haul a few loads of road base and spread that out over this sand. Then we'll cap that with some gravel. That'll finish up the road and the approach in front and prevent the sand from blowing around like it does right now. getting ready to nail this in to the wall and I realized I screwed up I cut my header plate at 38 inches for a 36 inch door and it needed to be 38 inches plus 3 inches so that I could have my jack studs in there so I'm 3 inches too short on these four boards so now I get to pound these off recut and rebuild this set nail it back together and keep going I'm a long, long way from home It's a long, long road I'm on And the angels hear me cry They sing me a lullaby A lullaby There's a picture weight of the wall wasn't too bad to get lifted up, but it sure was fussy trying to get it into place. 
but with a little bit of perseverance, we got it nailed in and secured to the other wall. These are the jack studs that I didn't leave room for with the previous header plate that I built. So now my rough opening is correct with the new header plate. I'm adding these braces along the face of the posts just to give a little extra support for the vertical load that's going to be coming from those girts that the floor joists will be attached to. Here I'm measuring and marking the locations of the floor joists along that girt. I use my speed square to mark both sides of the joist as well as the bottom so that I can line the joist up to nail it in. Then I'll come back through and install the joist hangers once it's all in place.
headed back to New Orleans Driving in the country Past old timey scenes Big birds were singing In the tall willow tree Mighty fine Three words written on a paper bag I miss you was written in a message in black Thrown in a van to a thousand miles back A better time And how many souls and times that I've told Places it had want to be And how many days When I could have stayed Instead of just getting up to leave And giving we make time I'll meet you down the line Long coat walking on a New York street. A pack of crushed cigarettes that fell to her feet. Well, ain't it odd how some people meet? But that's the truth. And two pictures buried in a guitar case. Underneath the music sheets all over the place I caught a glimpse of the sweetest girl's face I ever knew And how many souls and times that I've told The places that had lacked to be And how many days when I could have stayed Instead of just getting up to leave and give and we I'm going to put a window right here, a three foot by five foot window for the sunset views. All right, I've got all the joists are nailed in on the ends. I've also gone through and screwed them in with deck screws on the ends for now. Um, I've got some joist hangers I gotta go get. I'll put on here and and fasten in so that's all set and secure. The outside is all nailed up with the rim joists on and that's all squared. And those are all set. The joists are stacked right on top of the studs, so they're directly in line and match up. That means that any floor load will directly transfer straight through the stud and down to the floor should just make everything a little bit more secure. Now, I think I'm going to go ahead and move some materials around. Probably move that stuff out of the way enough that I can come in on this end with my tractor and my forklift on there and be able to lift the sheets up here and load the floor sheets. And then I can load the studs up there so that we can frame the next wall next two walls we got to get some concrete ordered up uh, we're going to pour the porch out here it's i believe 10 foot uh, by 42 feet and there's five spot footers out here because that'll be a covered lean to off the front of the building here and given we make time I'll meet you down the line And all the days from now to then If they never seem to come or to go well, Find me in your memory Keep you from getting so low And given we make time I'll 
meet you down the line Down the line Just about to throw all these cuts just into a pile over here and burn them, but we're getting into fire burning season. Warm the house. In this dimensional lumber, everything but the pressure treated stuff. This dimensional lumber sure makes awful good kindling. So it's real easy. Starts burning quick. So probably put it in a pile. We'll take it down to the firewood stack. On the road, headed back to New Orleans. Driving in the country, past old timey scene. Big birds were singing in the tall willow tree. Mighty fine. Three words written on paper bag I miss you was written in a message in black thrown in a van to thousand miles back a better time and how many souls and times that I've told places it had won't be how many days when I could have stayed Instead of just getting up to leave And given we made time I'll meet you down the line Long coat walking on a New York street. A pack of crushed cigarettes that fell to her feet. Well, ain't it odd how some people meet? But that's the truth. And two pictures buried in a guitar case. Underneath the music sheets all over the place I caught a glimpse of the sweetest girl's face I ever knew And how many souls and times that I've told The places that had lacked to be And how many days when I could have stayed Instead of just getting up to leave And giving we make time I'll meet you down the line If they never seem to come or to go well, Find me in your memories That keep you from getting so low And given we make time I'll meet you down the line Down the land, we'll meet up now.